Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the Swiss Confederacy campaign. First of all, I do apologise that uh, this video has taken a while to do because um, I had the Christmas period, I had my other Let's Plays, so I've have had to push this Let's Play back a little bit by, by about a couple of weeks. But um, first of all, thank you for the comments that um, I received on part 34, I believe it was. Yeah, of course, part 34. <laughs> Um, I've taken your guys' suggestions of what I should do with this campaign, where I should attack, because as you can see, the French have so much land that it's become near impossible to actually you know, prevail at this point in time. I do have Transylvania up here. I do have Belgrade, Athens, Zagreb, Venice, and of course, Luzerne, Switzerland. So, like, a nice spine over here. Many of you guys have suggested that I go for Italy. And I am considering doing that. I think that's probably what I will do. We've got individual states over here, such as Sardinia and Naples, and let's have a quick check to see who they're allied with. So the Papal States are allied with me, so I won't attack them straight away, of course. Sicily are allied with Britain, Russia, Naples, and Sweden. So I think we could attack them. Sardinia are not, not allied with anybody, so they'll be worth going for as well. Uh, Naples, of course, are allied with the same people as uh, Sicily, yeah, more or less. So, and it Italy, Italy, of course, Kingdom of Italy, are at war with all my, uh, are allied with all my allies, and are allied with me as well. So, I probably go for Naples to begin with, take the south, and then move across. I'll keep the Papal States and uh, Kingdom of Italy happy until. I can attack them, but if I can take all this land as well, along with all this, I should have a nice little empire for myself to try and conquer. But of course, of course, we got to deal with these. The Ottoman Empire has Istanbul. They have artillery, quite a lot of units. That's going to be my ne next target. Let's see what armies do I have. I have some army over here. I have. Army here. Could recruit some units here, I think. Yes. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Do I have any artillery? Oh, we have loads over here. I'm going to need this artillery, I believe, so I'm going to take three units of artillery and I'm going to march them to the Balkans. These three provinces are going to act as my base to try and take the Ottomans. Can I move this army out? With them being happy. I can indeed, so I'm going to do that. No point keeping them there. I am actually recruiting a unit of Swiss Grenadiers. So I think I'll wait until they're recruited. That army can go, go up to try and take Istanbul. The Balkans. Don't have lot, an awful lot here. Um... Recruit a couple of units of line infantry, I think. Let's see, two, four, six, eight with them, nine with them. They should be able to meet up with them, and I'm hoping that. Oh, I, I got artillery here. Ah, I can recruit artillery. Right, we'll take that unit away. I'll move the artillery down to to the bridge by here, and then I can move towards Istanbul. So. My plan is to take Istanbul before the French get there, then go for Italy itself. I'd probably go for Naples, then Sicily, then Sardinia. If Papal States or uh, the Kingdom of Italy declare war on me or break peace, then I can go for them as well. Oh, look at this French army here. Ooh, big French army there. Right, uh, got my spy, of course. My spy, right, I could actually take him into Italy. See what we got in Italy. Uh, let's have a look yeah. at the Papal States, then we go for Naples itself. I actually do have a fleet which I'll probably use to to get across into Naples. Am I recruiting anything here? No, I'm not. Could get a merchant ship, I don't see the point at the moment though. Alright, I think I can end turn this time. But yeah, thank you for your support with this series. I know a lot of you have been asking me where, you know, when am I going to upload the next episode. But basically the last three weeks, 
um, I've had Christmas, I've had my other Let's Plays, plus I haven't had much time lately as well, so it's been quite difficult to fit this in. But what I'm trying to do, I think I could try to upload this once a week, every Friday. At least that's what I'm thinking anyway, so I'll have a little think this weekend. I'll see where, I'm stand, where I stand with things and I'll probably release a upload schedule. So you guys will know then what dates to ex what days to expect what let's plays, providing I can record them, of course. And probably will deviate from the schedule from time to time. But if it's in place, then at least I know roughly what to record and when to record it and upload it. Okay, so not much happened that turn. We have recruited a few units. A uh, couple more turns for them. Gonna have an awful lot of artillery. Actually, no. Oop, go this way instead. I'm gonna put them on the ships ready. I'm gonna put them near the ships ready to save me. Come, because I'm, uh, I'm doing that because I have artillery. I have four units of artillery here. I can actually recruit more. I'm gonna recruit more. Artillery is really good in this game. I may as well use it as best as I can. I'm gonna take this army around here where it's safe. They're going to meet up in the Balkans with these guys. This army down here in Greece. Let's see, we have a unit of Swiss Grenadiers. I could keep them there just for, for safety. Actually, I think I will do that. This army is going to move up. Well, we can move them to the bridge for now. On the bridge by there to stop them coming into, into Athens. I think this is a pretty good plan, actually. Take that. Make it reasonably well defended, of course. We don't worry about the French for now, we'll go for Italy. I'm going to check diplomacy quickly as well. Let's see, Wittenberg are very friendly. What about the French? They're very friendly, allied, trading. People who hate them, Britain. The Italian. Ah, see, they'll support me in my war with Italy. Um, people states are not going to declare war on them unless they declare war on me rather than declare on me. Same with the Kingdom of Italy. Uh, was Naples the one I was going to go for? Naples. Yeah, Naples first, then then Sicily. Take the south. Sardinia. Sardinia, where are they? Here they are. And Sardinia we can take out anyway. Okay, so it'll be they, they, and then they. That's what I'm planning to do. I th oh, I've got some money to spend, of course. Um, what can I spend this to? I need to be thinking about going to Italy, don't I, at the same time. What can I recruit in Zagreb? Line infantry, right, so we'll go for... Uh, we'll take the militia away. We'll go for a unit of line infantry here. Can meet up with those four. We shall go with... Oh, we are recruiting here as well, in Belgrade. And we have a reasonable force. Oh, of course, this is my force, which is going to go for... for uh, I can't remember the name. Athens. <laughs> Yeah, I got this army could attack from the north actually. Do I have um, access? Kingdom of Italy. Trade, military access. Yeah, I do. Well, that's good. I can actually walk through Italy then and into Naples from there. So I think I have a two pronged attack. Okay, that's pretty good, I think. We'll end turn. See what happens in this end turn phase. But things are looking up already, I think. Just gotta try and deal with the French. At the at this moment in time I can't I can't take them out. <coughs> because they own so much land and have so much money and have so many armies. I mean what I could do, I could take Italy, strengthen all my borders, and then try to ally myself gradually with all the enemies of France. Unless, of course, they decide to clear war on me at some stage. Which I always fear, but they haven't this turn. Spain. Path blocked, okay. And units are recruited. My spy gone. Move my spy. I want him down here. Naples states are well, well defended. Naples is very well defended as well. Will take a while to take them out. Move these cannons over here. We've recruited by here. My cannons are coming down slowly. 
Can we actually take the, all of these out the Balkans with them being happy? Ooh, they're not too happy, are they? May have to leave a unit or two behind. What have we got? Militia can go in there. Put two units of militia in there. Yeah, they're happy, I know. Cannons to meet up with them. Gives us a decent half stack. This is the other half by here. And of course, they keep building all the time. Hmm, let's see. They have some cannons. I need to recruit more units, I think. Over here. Uh, line infantry. Two units of line infantry there. Let's go quickly micromanage all this now. End turn again. Going through my paces. This episode might not have a battle. That might come in the next episode because I'm at the moment I'm just trying to build up my my army ready for the invasion of uh, Istanbul. But yeah, let me know in the comment section if you think this is a good plan to go for Naples, to go for for Sardinia and Sicily, to go for all three of them after I've taken Istanbul. It should give me a decent um, amount of of territory in the Mediterranean. Gives me a strong southern border to the French. Russia have only got two provinces left. <laughs> Britain have done nothing all campaign. I find it quite funny. Right, so. Uh, this army to meet up with them. Nope, put in the wrong place. Fail. Bring all the cannons. There we go. We can actually go forward a bit. We'll attack through. Yeah, we go up, up there and then down. Fairly strong army there. We we'll move to this bridge. This part of the army. On my own territory at the moment, which I'm happy about. Any bridges nearby which I can? Uh, it doesn't matter for now, anyway. Right. Army infrastructure recruitment. Could recruit. Send these two to meet up with these over there. Give this a stronger army. There we go. Looks pretty good. Another Grenadier unit I think will suffice. I'm going to keep my units inside Zagreb in case the French do declare war on me. I want to have something here to try to defend it. The same with, with the Luzerne and Venice. I mean, at the moment I know this army is just sitting there being wasted, but I don't trust the uh, Württemberg or the French, or Italy for that matter, so they're just going to sit there for now until the war starts to develop a bit more. Same with uh, Venice. Okay, I'll end turn again. Flying through the end turn phases at the moment. The Swiss Confederacy campaign. I think I can call the Swiss a Swiss Empire now. We have enough territories to to call it an empire, I think. If we do look at the map, the mini map in the bottom corner, even though France holds so much, I think we're probably in second place for the most territories now. I'm quite happy with that. You recruited. Excellent. Right. I want to take this unit up because I don't think that we have enough between us to take Istanbul. I just want to double check. I don't want to go there with too few men. It's a fairly strong army now. We're going to actually go to Istanbul from the south. Istanbul's got full stacks. The problem is they've been replenishing all these all this time, but there isn't a lot I can do about that. There we go. March this unit across. So they're going to go there. They're going to go there. It'll take this army one, two, three turns. It'll take this one. Uh, two turns. We'll try to coordinate it. Don't have much money to spend this turn. I'll end turn again. I could do with some more technology as well, but the problem is I have no schools to actually research any technology. All the technology I've acquired in this campaign has come from me actually being able to get it from negotiations, from diplomacy. So. That's something I need to consider. I can't remember, but I think Istanbul has got a school. Might be wrong, but I'll have to wait and see. The 
French Empire Strasbourg Paris Paris Parlez-vous français? Oui. <laughs> Okay, agent detected. It's fine, he recruited in Transylvania. This army can move up now. Go to about there. Same with this army to move up. Go to about there. So there we go. This is uh, nearly uh, three quarters of a stack. Same with this. Between them we got over, over uh, well over a stack. I think I counted that wrong. <laughs> Nearly got two stacks between them anyway, that's the one what I'm trying to say. So if one army fails, the other one should swoop in and and deal with it. I'm hoping to have both armies there though, to help out. Balkans, let's quickly check everything. This army I'm happy to keep there. I want the cannons there ready to go to Naples. Let's move this uh, agent across. Oh, Naples have got quite a lot of armies. There we go, they've got one over there. Got a full stack in the actual city, town. Hmm. I think I'll use this army from Venice to actually march into the into the north of Italy. I'm gonna end turn again. Oh, we're gonna be bankrupt. I don't care. <laughs> it's got to the point where I don't care if I'm bankrupt. But yeah, this, uh, this is the 35th part of this campaign. It's, it's quite amazing to think how many parts it's taken. My longest running Total War campaign so far. My Empire campaign lasted 28 parts, I think, but two of those parts were were split up basically, so it was actually 26 parts. Um, but this one's going strong. I started this one. God, when did I start this? Last summer, I think I started it last summer, and I've I've kind of did 12 parts. First 12 parts, my hard drive crashed on me so I had to restart the campaign now we are bankrupt, there we go had to restart the campaign which wasn't good I want these armies to be close to each other so I'm going to take this one to here I've actually got to go around and this one's just going to go there keeping them relatively close in case in case of danger and I'm going to turn again because we are bankrupt yeah, so I started this campaign, I think it was last summer. I did the first 12 parts, my hard drive crashed, so I had to restart the campaign again. But rather than go by episode 1, episode 2, I decided to call it episode 13 and just explained in that, in that video why I had to restart it. What I had done, I'd actually claimed the provinces, or most of the provinces I initially had, originally. So I tried, it, it didn't uh, change it too much. But if it if it'd been more than 12 parts, I don't know if I would have restarted, because... It's an awful lot of hard work to, an awful lot of time you've got to put in. I mean, when you think about it, 12 parts is a good few hours. Agent detected, okay. And here we are, okay. So, this army can go there now. I'm reluctant to go straight for the kill, even though I could with this army. I'm going to keep this army just about there. Yeah, look at that, we can see they got men over here. I could attack them there. They've got an army here, I need to think about reinforcing Athens quickly, so... I, of course I can't. <laughs> I haven't got the men to do it. I'm going to have to be quick then, I think. But I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you've enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart, until next time, goodbye.